All right, we've been previewing conference by conference, looking at teams that are supposed to get in and uh, how we think they might favor. Yesterday we did the Big East. Tomorrow I'd like to do the Big 12. It's time to mm-hmm. time to have some reckoning on a couple teams and maybe give some love to some teams that actually deserve it. I'm looking at you, Kansas. Mm-hmm. Uh, but let's start in the SEC. And if there's any Kansas-like in SEC, boy, my friends, that is the Kentucky Wildcats. There is not a team in this conference. This conference will put in, what, six teams probably? It's six or seven. Six or seven. It's everyone's saying next to the Big East, it's the next deepest, right? Yeah, yeah. It's, and it's deep. It's strong. They've got Swag's point two earlier in the show. It's win. amazing what happens when you have money. They finally invested money into the SEC basketball, and it's turned out really well. The team that I would stay away from is the team that you normally would bet the house on, and that is Kentucky. (laughs) This team is going in the wrong direction. They can't play defense. They're not organized. Even Coach Cal Calipari has come out and said multiple times that these guys have issues, and a couple of them are going to go to the league, Mm -hmm. and that's probably all they care about, and I can't tell you to sell Kentucky more. Well, when when you look at this conference in <clears throat> then general, the bracket comes out and I have them in the elite eight. <laughs> dude, aside from Auburn, no one plays defense in that conference. Well, Tennessee you're, plays defense. Well, you're talking about Kentucky. Kentucky, when you look at their uh, adjusted defensive efficiency, they're giving up what a hundred or sorry, they're ninety sixth right now in the country. Alabama's a hundred and second. Yeah, yep. they don't play defense. If you're not Auburn and you're you're not uh, Tennessee, Tennessee. You don't play defense. You just chuck up a bunch of shots. In March, with college basketball players, it's been proven that you can't rely on just, well, we're going to run fast, we're going to be up-tempo, and we're going to hit a bunch of threes and we'll win. It might work early, but as you get into the more nitty-gritty games, the teams with better defense, they're the ones who come out on top. Yeah, but they won seven of their last eight. They beat Tennessee in the season finale. and Alabama's hot. Uh, they put 117 on Alabama. Alabama doesn't play defense. They don't play defense. That that's that's true. You, you, if you have a team that can control pace, yeah, and handle, and you have guards, you have veteran guards who can handle the ball and handle pressure on them, and you shoot free throws. That's the formula that can cause Kentucky problems. Yep. But if you got guys that are just athletic and want to run up and down the floor. Kentucky has all of those, and they're bigger and stronger and faster than your guys, and they will put 100 on you. Yeah, you can't look at the front of the jersey when you're playing Kentucky. Just don't. Don't mm-hmm. get in a shootout with them. Don't get in a race with them. Play your style. And I think Kentucky will go out a lot sooner than people have. The team that I think to watch in this, now I was banging on this yesterday, and I'll continue to bang on it for a while. I do not trust Rick Barnes in a tournament, and I refuse to. I don't trust Rick Barnes, but I do trust Connor Connect. And this that Tennessee dude's team. gonna play in the league. I know, dude. That's why I hate this and so much. That guy is, if you're talking about a guy, when you get in these tournament sorts of games and it comes down to five minutes and it's a one possession game. That guy can all by himself. He's one of the guys, few guys this year, all by himself that can carry a team over the finish line. Is he going to be enough to finally like break the Barnes curse? He though? might. He might be enough. Like they, because he can do everything. Right. Well, and sometimes you get a special run because of a special player. I mean, Shabazz Napier with UConn, uh, Kemba Walker. You know. Uh, so sometimes that sure. that does help. Steph Curry at Davidson. Date. Dave, Oh yeah, Dayton. that's right. Davidson, yeah. Yeah, not Dayton. Not I Dayton. know. I always Dayton. get him, I always get him confused. It is what it is. But uh, you have to have a special player, and you have to have a special player get hot and stay hot for the entire month. Glenn Big that's Baby tough. Davis. Where was he at? Was George he the, Mason. He oh, he's why George Mason. Oh, was Big Baby Davis. Big yes. Baby Davis. Yeah. Oh. Not uh, not Glenn Big Dog Robinson. No, 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 not the big dog. Not the big dog. I love You're, Glenn you guys are you guys are saying names that like <laughs> you don't know Glenn I, you don't know Big Dog Glenn Robinson I remember Big Baby Davis uh, as a Celtic <laughs> you probably don't know Grandma Ma either sorry buddy dude Larry Johnson that guy's one of the best college players I ever that seen. was one of the greatest college basketball teams <laughs> ever and the fact they only won one title is mind boggling the them and, and the Akeem and Clyde Drexler Houston uh, Cougars that UNLV who went squad for three that UNLV squad is the best team money could buy. Ah. Without a doubt, boy, if Tark, best college if Tark could coach now, <laughs> if Tark was now he'd ah. be running the show. He'd be running the show. Well, I still think that I don't know why, and maybe there's some form of that amoeba defense that still exists somewhere. 
but one you got to have af- five athletes that can do it out there mm-hmm. but that that was one of the most formidable defenses ever ever i don't know why you can't employ it in the nba at times in the nba you can't play you can't press for 48 minutes in the nba you just can't uh but i oh, i don't know if that was tark <laughs> or one of his assistants who was there but it was so it was so good well and they were also one of the original let's shoot the three ball we we want to get three point shots yeah out. And, and crash the boards. I was listening to an interview with Rick Patino and, and I didn't realize that, you know, because, again, this is before my time. Mm-hmm. So in March, I like to listen to interviews. early my time, too. Right. Like, I like to listen to uh, interviews with coaches or with, with old uh, reporters who go out and talk about what make teams great, why they think that this team will be great because you look at the past and these reasons. And Patino was talking about that, and I never put that together where that's where, you know, that three ball up, tempo offense kind of came from mm. yep stacy ogman anderson hunt Who's greg Stacey anthony ogman it's what i mean it's what uh helped patino win early on in kentucky and and at louisville too like he likes to shoot the three ball well he did and yeah. that was at providence when he yep first yeah. made his run to the final four uh if there's a team in the sec that i'm gonna put my money on it would be the auburn tigers i like this team their balance bruce pearl is mm. a tournament tested coach i believe he has a final four under his belt at tennessee Right? Yes. Yes, I think so. I could be wrong. Have mm. Text police can check me on that. Uh, I like this Auburn team. They're extremely balanced. Bruce Pearl knows what he's doing. The SEC was a gauntlet, mm-hmm. and they're hot at the right time. And, Will, you've been on the Ken Palm rankings, and t- the, t- tell me what their Ken Palm looks like. Right now, they fit the mold, right? We talk about adjusted offensive efficiency, adjusted defensive efficiency. They're 13th, and they're 6th. So, They play great defense. There's only five teams that are better than them Mm -hmm. playing defense in the entire country, and then offensively, they can score. And when you have a well-rounded team like that, that's where they seem to make those runs in March. You look at UConn's team last year that went all the way and won a championship. They were playing great defense, so when they had stretches in games where they miss shots because it's college basketball, you are going to go through stretches where you miss shots. Just turn on a college basketball (laughs) game. You're going to see open ask, looks. Ask the Cal Bears. Get, right. Watch that Kansas-Cincinnati whoa, game last night. Whoa, whoa. And, and they're going to be good looks and open looks, and guys <clears throat> just miss them because they don't get the same amount of practice as the NBA players. And, yeah, when, when you're in that upper echelon of offense and defense, I would probably right. rather have the higher echelon. I'd rather have top, top-tier defense right. and just below the top offense than the other way around because you're mm. right. If your offense goes cold – just lean on that D. And, and it will and it will go cold at some it point. It will at some point. Whether it's a stretch of a game right. or it's two games, you know. Mm-hmm. Like the, the big knock on Purdue. We're not going to do the Big Ten. We don't need to. Big Ten never shows up in the tournament. <laughs> the big knock on Purdue is like, yeah, their offense could go cold for two games straight, but you play a 16 seed so you get bass past them. Mm-hmm. But then you get some rugged nine seed right. who starts shooting the lights out and you're toast. Yeah, and they're a- if they're able to stop Edie, right? But this Auburn team, they're upper tier on both, and they play good defense. They're they well play coached. good offense, right? Well coached, and they're coached by a coach who he might not have a title, but he's been there before. He knows how to get his guys ready. Bruce Pearl likes the NIL. <laughs> right. <laughs> Let's just say Bruce he, Pearl he, likes the NIL. He's happy to be back. I, they're the ones that I trust because you also don't have the, the Rick Barnes issues in March. Oh, I don't want to do Rick Barnes. Stay away. 